Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hello patrons and hello YouTubers if you're watching this down the line. Actually, I think this is a sneak peek. I think this is a sneak peek. So hello patrons because generally this would drop on Patreon. But hello YouTubers or if you found this, um, yeah, in the ALG, um, hello. Hit the sub button as well as the bell notification if you're brand new. I drop videos weekly and a plethora y'all. Um, so yeah, so this is, I just want to, you know, pay attention to the disclaimer at the beginning of this video. This is tarot fiction, my opinion, fiction, 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 tarot, 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 fan fiction, not real, you know, fickety fiction, 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 boom. Now, if you believe in it, you believe in it. If you don't, you don't take, take what you do, take what you don't, but I, this is not to defame anyone, so, and it's nothing against my opinion, so it's tarot opinion fiction, you know, but if y'all believe, you know, if you know, you know, okay? But anyway, just getting that all out there just because of legalities, and we just ain't, folks ain't gonna try this one, but yeah, so it's tarot. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, you all. Let's get into this reading. So this reading is about Miss Beyonce. Um, and yeah, but before I, I get officially into the reading, um, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, Sunday every walk and read priority reading, uh, workshops are coming soon. Join me on my second channel um, or become a patron of mine or join me across the web or um, or any of my social media accounts. I want you all to check that pink on below as well as the description box below for all details. All right, without further ado though, let's get into it um yeah you all so let's get into it about beyonce excuse me so here's the deal um there's a very lovely subscriber who has been requesting for quite some time probably um about it since the last Beyonce reading, which was, uh, I think, over a year ago now, uh, for me to do another Beyonce reading, a follow-up. And so, uh, to that subscriber, this is directly for you. I am legit doing this one for you because it has been a long time coming. And, yeah, we about to make it good. About to make it good, good. I mean, you know, look, you see me. I broke out the, 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 the special effects and stuff for you, you know. Pew, pew, pew. I wonder if I inserted a special effect right there. We'll see. We'll see. But this is for you and for all other um of the Beyonce fans followers or just people that's just watching thank you and yeah you all enjoy okay so let's get into it so um what's the gossip on Beyonce right now what's going on with her um I want to like dive head in what's her what's what's her relationship like right now what's going on between her and Jay-Z how are things between her and Jay-Z so universe Thank you for the channel messages. How are things going currently for Beyonce and Jay? What's going on? What's, uh, uh, uh. Actually, I'm going to do the right away deck. What's going on currently for Beyonce and Jay Z? What's happening currently between them? Give me two cards. What's going on currently between Beyonce and Jay Z? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. We have the set. You know what, y'all? And you know Beyonce, um, too. You know, so it's like, like I know I'm talking about um, Bebe. But, you know, Beyonce's heavily protected, too. So even the stuff that's coming out in this read is probably um, <laughs> her ancestors. Definitely like, mm-hmm, go step the wrong way. But we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Seven of pentacles that came out in the upright their relationship is very solid which honestly y'all i was expecting that um jay-z has finally you know he's at a point where yeah ain't nothing breaking them up but death and i'm not wishing that on either of them anytime soon or ever but anytime soon no but this is till death you all they they're in it for the long haul jay-z is absolutely in love with her we know beyonce in love with jay-z we know that um they're very invested but here's the tea they are working on um, a new child. Not now. She's not pregnant yet. She's not pregnant yet. Remember, y'all, uh, for those of y'all who are Beyonce fans, and this was, I think, when Media Takeout was just brand new. Like, every other week, it was a Beyonce is pregnant post. This is before Blue Ivy came. But, yeah. Um, but, no. They're, they're, ooh, it's some type of business deal that they're cultivating at the moment. It's definitely um, in the realm of fashion. 
um but there's a baby there's baby energy they they, they want to settle on the fourth um yeah this is a, a solid relationship I, I, I there's nothing to go deep about this they have a very solid union you all know that um jay-z love him some beyonce beyonce love her some jay-z um yeah they thrust each other in our faces it's like you will not see one without the other um but there is some type of project that that they have coming up something um some type of something um ooh, it feels like some type of um movie too some some type of something that's coming up that the both of them are working on together that's her next really big move i'm getting so i, I don't feel like music is coming in 2022 from Beyonce I'm, but but we are gonna see her but it's some type of production outside of um that's what I'm getting with that one um and they plan to have at least one more child that's what I'm getting with that one there's at least one more child coming uh within five years yes uh universe thank you for the channel messages Beyonce spirit guys Beyonce's high spirit um y'all I'm hearing to be real messy and ask how does Beyonce feel about Rihanna you know what? Let's do it. Since we're on the topic of people, let's do it. I want to know how Beyonce feels about Rihanna now, just overall, because we know, word on the curve, alleged, alleged, that um, Jay-Z and Rihanna had a whole thing back in the day, which I don't know. I'm, I'm saying alleged because, you know, I have to. But, I, yeah, they had a whole thing back in the day, allegedly. And so that's what I'm getting with that one. So I'm going to ask that question. Then we're going to ask what, did, what do Beyonce have coming up? the universe thank you for these channel messages how does beyonce feel about rihanna her growth her businesses her billionaire status how does beyonce truly feel about rihanna in her heart of hearts nine of pentacles in the upright six of swords in the reverse how does y'all tarot fiction uh, um rihanna has apologized formally apologized to beyonce um they're at a point where they're cordial they're definitely at a point where they're cordial they could be in the same room now and there's no animosity there because for a long time nah, i was ooh, that energy was thick but it's like she doesn't really pay her much mind but it's not because it's not out of spitefulness or hurt at this point in time it's not because like you know mm, f you you know it's more so like you know like Fences have been mended between them. Rihanna has truly, truly, truly shown, you know, remorse and, and Jay-Z. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not any animosity there. How does Rihanna, I mean, how does Beyonce truly feel about Rihanna? Tip Brinson, see, she's forgiven her. How does she truly feel about, yep, there's no conflict there. Aww. But ain't no friendship though like that either. Like she forgiven her, but but they not they not chilling at the cookout. It's business. Like if they have to be in the same room, if they have to do a show together, that she's willing to work with her. Not collab in, in music, but work with her, you know, if she has to work adjacent, you know. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Rihanna's still a part of Rock Nation, which is, you know, Beyonce's husband's company. So it's like she's she's okay with that. Like she's able to be in the same room and she wishes her well. Uh, Rihanna has a uh, I mean Beyonce has a lot of well wishes for her. Um but yeah, but 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 Brianna's not her favorite person. She's yeah, no, she's not her favorite person. But but she's not. She doesn't hate her either. It's like you know, hey, um, it is what it is. But she's definitely you know, Beyonce has definitely risen above, gotten over it. But but isn't looking you know like she can work with her. She can do business. That's what this Five of Swords is. But she's not looking to. She's looking to keep her you know, at that area. Like we can be professional. If I see you, I'm gonna say hey, girl. But yeah, that's about it. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see. What does Beyonce have coming up um, professionally? So universe, I thank you for these channel messages. What does Beyonce have coming up next? Does she have any new music? What projects is she working on? What's coming up for Beyonce in the year 2022? Justice card in the upright. She's gonna continue to work on um, her clothing brand. There's a new um, Ivy Park drop coming soon. Just in time for spring, we have, yeah, she's she's focusing more so on the fashion right now. Just in time for spring, I'm getting some type of documentary style flick coming. It does feel like it's health related, like that time when she had everybody convert to veganism for 22 days. Something like that again. Um, 
yeah it's not it's not feeling music related look the chariot in reverse y'all she don't have any new music coming out yet but she does have features so you're gonna see her you're gonna hear her featured on other people's things very prominent i know that there's buzz that she has something going on that she has a song with adele or adele has a song with her so there's gonna be features in 2022 now there is buzzing about music that's coming through in the energy um, you all, but it's more so like late 2022. So we're talking about another year before Beyonce really drops. I'm here. I'm just not ready to go on tour right now. Like Beyonce's not ready to tour right now. She she she's enjoying her time, you know, working, but 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 being able to come home at night, be with family, be with her husband, be with her kids. You know, she she likes. Okay, I'm in office at nine. I'm out. Of, Beyonce worked long hours, y'all. I just heard that because I was about to say I'm in office at nine. I'm out by five. No, Beyonce is in office at nine. She out by nine. Beyonce is a 12 hour day person. But point is, though, she has her kids around her. So she she her twins are by her side right now as I'm like getting the energy from this. Like her kids stay by her side. Like, you know, so it's like she may be at the office or in offices or working long hours but the kids are literally in the office with her so she's one of those moms where it's like you know i'm i'm not gonna stop working hard because that's that's her love y'all she is a hard worker that's that virgo energy she's like i'm not gonna stop working but at the same time i'm not gonna neglect my babies so my baby's just gonna have to be with me as i work y'all blue ivy about to be a whole mogul by the time she turned 15 because she is literally watching her mom and watching her dad you know hustle for dear life you, you know like 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 create all the paths and this girl is gonna have all the keys um by the time she turned 15 in what five more years how old is blue ivy 10 so y'all you know precious little blue ivy is about to be your next boss and you go girl that's the energy that i'm getting but beyonce she's not giving up her her uh, family time she's just learned how to incorporate both i feel that though because it's like I know I, I'm, I'm a hard worker myself and, and I do find a lot of joy I know this sound crazy but I do find a lot of joy in it uh, especially in doing my readings and my other you know my nine to five outside of this and I will put all my all into it and I don't have children yet but when I have you know a kid I don't know I don't know how many gonna come but at least a kid and a family, I just, I want my family with me. I want my husband, my kid. I want us all to be together, but I'm still taking care of this. <laughs> I sound crazy. But yeah, that's the, that's the energy I'm getting off of uh, Beyonce, y'all. Let's see. Give me more messages. What's some more gossip? What's some gossip on Beyonce? Come on, give me some tea. What's going on with Beyonce? We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. She's not talking to her father right now. The relationship is still strained between her and her dad. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Give me some more information. Ooh, y'all saw it flip. He's either, you know, the relationship is still strained between her and her dad. It's just not, it's not back to where, like she loves her dad now. I'm not saying she don't love her father and I'm not saying he don't love her, but the relationship is still just kind of, you know, once again, like she sees him, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it's very planned out time between them. They spend quality time. And here's the deal. Nothing they talk about relates to business. She refuses to talk to her dad about business and, and the vice versa. Nothing. They have like this contract of, this is what I'm picking up in energy. Remember, tarot fiction, alleged, alleged. But I'm picking up in an energy, this contract of, you know, like, nope, we are just father and daughter. And that's it. If anything, you know, if you want to go business, I refuse to talk to you. Like, yeah, she's put a lock on that one. Um, give me more information. What's coming up for Beyonce in 2022? What's going down in Beyonce's life 2022? Page of Cups in the upright. Oh, Knight of Cups in the upright and the Nine of Cups. Um, yeah, she's working on some type of passion project. Yeah, she's now she's working on new music, but it's not dropping yet. She's working on, but she's going to tease us with it. She's working on some type of passion project, though. Um, I just heard my greatest album yet. So she's putting together. So it's a project that there's an album that she's been putting together for quite some time. I'm not picking up any tour dates, so she won't be touring the world anytime soon. Um, and I'm picking up something about a magazine cover that's coming up. Ooh, it's a Vogue cover. It's coming up within the next three months. She'll be on, but it doesn't feel like Vogue America. It could be like Vogue Italia or something. Uh, Italia. Um, Vogue Italy, but what is that? Yeah, but Vogue Italy, essentially, um, one of the other Vogue branches 
in in the other countries but she has a vogue cover coming up or yeah yeah she had the harper's bazaar that injury yeah she has a vogue cover coming up very soon within the next three months maybe this is um british vogue that i'm picking up but definitely between now and may so yeah that's coming up soon um but yeah i'm seeing her do more promo more press but she's going to be focusing on her clothing brand focusing on whatever this video production is it's another passion project um and it surrounds like the earth is it just natural stuff you know but beyonce's at a point she can do whatever she want to do <laughs> she does whatever suits her fancy and she is working on an album she's been working on music for the last two years you all um however though she's very slowly putting together a collection of songs that she really loves and enjoys so and it's going to be typical beyonce-esque music like i'm not getting she's going to be going all the way out there and here and there no but it's definitely very quality music. So she's putting together a really good album. Expect to hear features of her from her next year. I'm not getting much. Beyonce is living at that, that, that just, I'm not getting no, she's staying out of controversy. Her husband's staying out of controversy. She's just a mom, a wife, and a working woman and a businesswoman at this point. Like y'all, it ain't much, nothing too scandalous coming out. Um, She's just looking for peace she's she's cultivating happiness that's what i'm getting with that one and yeah but um expect like new 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 music like a, a set staple body of work by the end of next year so within a year's time uh, because she's not ready to go on tour yet but and it is another tour coming up expect that 2023 that's what i'm getting with that one so again you all thank you so much for tuning into this reading now I want you all, if you're not a patron of mine, go become a patron of mine because at the time of me doing this reading, I'm going to drop um, a Jack Harlow reading that was suggested in the comments. So there's a Jack Harlow reading coming. Also, we're going to get some tea on Miss Kalani and SZA. I know Kalani and SZA, you know, they say they're BFF, but I don't know if it's been solidified that they're dating, but we about to find out. Okay, so what's the gossip on Kalani and SZA? So go join the Patreon if you want the gossip on Kalani and SZA. And um, I want to find out um, about Wendy. So these are readings that's coming over through the weekend. Um, I want to find out about Wendy Williams, what's going to happen with her show um and r kelly because there's word on the curb that he is about to snitch or he's gonna snitch and also he's on you know he's on suicide watch. oh can't say that word he's on s watch so what's gonna happen next we gonna find out so what's the gossip around on, on all of them but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this little sneak peek and you know what i'm gonna keep this keep this up i'm not gonna private it I'm going to keep this one up. You all enjoy, but definitely patron. Join the Celebrity Tea tier because Jack Harlow, Kalani and SZA, R. Kelly, who is he snitching on? Who, what big names? Who is he going Nino Brown on? For all of you all who, who knows that reference from New Jack City. Who is he going Nino Brown on? Who, who? We're going to find out and some outcome with that and wendy williams we're gonna find out that and outcome with that so you all go join that patreon tier uh celebrity t and you'll get those videos um yeah this weekend over the weekend and i'm doing this um what is this this reading i'm doing this reading october 29 2021 so these are readings that are coming um by october 31st so between now and sunday so yeah so you all go join me on patreon and if you're joining this month you still uh get a chance to be in the running for uh the october giveaway um which i announce on the second of every next month so november 2nd i'll announce the winner of the october giveaway and i'll announce what i'm giving away um so yeah all right, good people. I thank you so very much for you all tuning in. Uh, thank you for your beautiful energy. And yeah, hey, Beyonce, girl. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Because you know me and her are friends, y'all. So I got to shout, shout out to my girl. All right, y'all. Uh, thank you so much. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.